former farmland is now harvesting economic benefits in Madera County. But our leading sectors are construction and education, and I think that kind of plays off, uh, they play off each other, where when you have a strong construction, you have a lot of growth in your area, of course your education facilities are going to grow. Bobby Kahn is the executive director of the Madera County Economic Development Commission. Madera County just ranked number one and tied with Calaveras County for non-farm job growth in the state. Khan says the education field is hiring more people. Schools have been built and others are underway. However, a lot of growth has been focused on construction along the Highway 41 corridor. Riverstone's adding about 35 to 40 homes a month being sold, so that's a tremendous amount of growth out there. Tessera Viejo is just finishing their backbone infrastructure. You're going to see houses coming out of the ground out there uh, towards the fall of this year. Hundreds of people are working on the master plan communities that will transform the landscape of Madera County. Khan says in addition to construction, manufacturing is also steady in the county. You're seeing a resurgence in the manufacturing sector all our manufacturers are, are going strong. Most of them are hiring. We're working with two right now that are doing substantial expansion plans to add on to their facilities. More jobs are bringing more people to Madera County as well. Madera County is actually number one in, in growth, population growth. But that population growth is also drives jobs. In addition to growth along the 41 corridor, like here at Riverstone, experts say they're seeing an increase in construction in Madera and building permits are going up in Chantilla all positive signs for the economy. In Madera County, Amanda Venegas, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.